I'm at Heartville Thrift and I'm going to meet Amy and her mom, I think, and Aunt Beth. Woo woo! Let's go inside and see what we can find. A half off color is yellow and the 50 cent color is red today. Right out the gate, I found another Vera Bradley. This one's $6.50. I love it. Should I get it? Well, I just have to tell you that any day I get to shop with Amy from Yoso Boho and her Aunt Beth is a great day. And this was no exception. We met up at the Hartville Thrift and I just have a heart for the Hartville Thrift. I love shopping there and most of their prices are 30 cents or 50 cents. You might have heard Amy say in her video that I had already picked up a purse by the time they got in the store. I love these Vera Bradley purses. There's two different ones that I love. This is the one style and I don't have anything with this pattern yet so I was happy to get this. And there's the tag and you probably saw it in the shop along. It was six dollars and fifty cents. So I was super happy to get that. <laughs> This is really light. Wonder what it is. It's almost like plastic. All right, I bought the small one of this for 30 cents before here, and I have it in my booth, so I think I'll try this one for 30 cents. What do you think? I mentioned in the shop along that I do have a little one like this and now I have the big one as well. For only 30 cents I thought you know I'm going to take a chance that somebody's going to want this. So this is going into my booth. I think it's upside down. Yep there's the cute little graphics on that and that was 30 cents. I'll probably mark that around five or six dollars. This is really pretty. I love that. 50 cents. I cannot resist a beautiful glass jar such as this. And for only 50 cents, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I think it would be cute in my craft room or even anywhere in my home, like for seasonal decor to put something fun in it for the holidays. But I might put it in my booth and give it a try. I'm getting quite a lot of these and I either need to use them or stop buying them or sell them. <laughs> I also have a weakness for mugs and Today was no exception. I found two cute mugs. Look at this little kitty mug. He is just adorable. On the bottom it says brought to you by Thumbs Up UK Limited, made in China. He's orange inside. I thought that would be super adorable for Halloween time or just any time of the year if you're a cat lover. And the price was 30 cents. This will go in my booth. I usually mark mugs between five to eight dollars. So I'll look it up and see if there's any comps and decide from there. So when I looked up this mug on eBay, it said it was a color changing mug. I know Amy's actually found some of those before, but I never have. Or if I did, I didn't realize I did. So I'm gonna heat up some water here in my Keurig because it says it does it with hot beverages and we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Do you see it changing color? That's awesome. I'm so glad I looked that up and I see that it's listed for, you know, quite the high price. So I'll share that with you next. I don't know how far the color change goes. Maybe the whole thing? I don't know. Or I didn't put quite a full thing of water in, but the water is up to where it changed color. So that's awesome. I just kind of tipped the mug to get the hot water to go up all the way and it does change all the way. See that? So I'm so excited about this. This is very cool.
I only found one like mine listed on eBay for $18.98, and then there was a similar one that sold for $16.99. New York, New York. <laughs> okay, and as Beth pointed out, it still has the twin towers, so it's vintage. How much? Want to guess? 50 cents. 30 cents. 30 cents. <laughs> And then we kind of gave it away in the video. I did pick up the New York mug, and you can see the Twin Towers there if you look co closely. And Aunt Beth guessed 50 cents, but alas, it was only 30 cents. So I just love the graphics on that, and I think it will sell pretty quick. I'm not sure what this is for, but it's 30 cents. Mm, very pretty. This is a cool piece. A little broken and worn out, but kind of cool. No price. Oh, this just kind of made me laugh here. 30 cents. <laughs> That's a little timer. Should I get it? Oh, this is pretty. This next item I went back and forth on. It just spoke to me. I thought it was super beautiful and very well done. And on the back it says Duncan Ceramic Products Inc. 1975. And then on the front there are initials. I mean a name. It says Irma and I can't quite read the middle name. And then it says Duncan, and it looks like 1976, but I am going to look that up online. I know I did already, and there was maybe one like it, and then some of them were painted differently. So I think it was a hobbyist piece, but I'm not sure if this lady was somebody special or not, because I think when I looked it up, it had her name on one of them, so I'll put up a little clip of what I find. I didn't find any like mine sold, but this one was listed for $19.99. I could probably use this in my booth for display for 30 cents, kind of like a riser. I always love to find things to put in my booth to help me sell things, so I found this little riser, and since it was only 30, to 30 cents, I did decide to pick that up and I figured I could either use it in the back just to lift something, or if I had some little things, I could use it closer to the middle or up front to put something little here and then have another layer up top. So for 30 cents, yes please. These napkin holders I think are really cool. Does anybody desire these anymore? Let me know in the comments below if you have the scoop on that. Here's my mystery item. What do you think this is? I thought it was a mug rack, but it only has the four little pegs at the top. Next, I have my mystery item. Do you have any guesses as to what this could be? When I was shopping with the girls, I think one of them thought maybe it was to hang necklaces on. I'm not sure. Maybe I texted Melody and that's what she suggested. But I think it would be good for my booth for anything that I want to hang and sell. I could sell necklaces or I could sell bolo ties. I do have a lot of those to sell. So let me know in the comments below what your guess is or what you would use it for. Let's see if Amy wants this. I think it's a book rack and she might need that for in her booth. This is kind of pretty and different and it's signed. Cents. 
make sure you go over and watch Amy's video so you can find out the rest of the story on this item. This is really pretty. It's made in China. Her hands are broken. Oopsie. You okay? This is kind of kitschy cute. From Florida. Fort Lauderdale. It's an awesome crock pot for $4. And the lid is 50 cents. Look at the graphics on that. I want it, but I have like 15 crop pots. I'd like to uh, text Melody and see if she wants this. The needles are not included, but look how cool the graphics are on this. Looks like it's a little bit damaged, but 30 cents. Melody said she would love to have these, even though they are somewhat damaged. And it says needles not included. She does have a collection of the needles in package but she doesn't care if they have the needles in them or not and this was only 30 cents so just look at the graphics i'm going to show you the back here where you can see them better isn't that just something i got so excited when i saw this piece beth was shopping beside me and she said it was an abacus and it was worth a pickup for 50 cents i thought this next item was super cool this is an abacus and there is some writing on the front here. It says a lotus flower brand made in the People's Republic of China. And it was only 50 cents. So I thought that was super cool. And I will be putting that in my booth to sell as well. I will be pricing mine around $8 for my booth. Look at this beauty. It's a Hoover. I just fired it up and it works. And it's $2 so cool. I ended up picking up that Hoover blender and there's a little story behind that. Hoover company was right here in North Canton, Ohio, very close to my home. And so I thought that's a good brand. I'll check it out. Well, I fired it up in store and it sounded like it had a really good motor. But when I brought it home and cleaned it all up, it leaked after I tested it out with some water and water just came pouring out the bottom. No, not pouring, more like dripping. So I have to decide if I can find a replacement part for that. It's probably the seal that is bad or what I want to do. Now they do have a, let me think, how many days? You can return it within a few days. I'm not sure exactly what it is at Hartville Thrift if it's electrical and you find that it doesn't work. But I sent my husband back with it so he could take it back on his way home. And he read all over the place, no returns, sales final. So he just brought it on home. And I said, let's not worry about it for the $2. So I'm gonna try to fix that so I can put it in my booth and sell it. So if you have any knowledge for me in that area, please let me know in the comments below. I spotted this and it's $6. This really doesn't go with this, but I think you get it all for six bucks. So I'm trying to decide whether I should get it or not. I did end up purchasing this for $6. It did not include the basket. I'm really tickled with my purchase because I used to have a longer burger basket in here for laundry and it took up this whole doggone space. So I've saved a lot of space and this is much easier carrying up and down the stairs. Win, win. This gem is 50 cents and I think I might buy this to put in my booth to hang postcards on to sell. What do you think? This next item is the last item that I actually filmed. And you might wonder, what do you want that for? Well, it needs tightened up. It's just an old frame and it has some twine strung from side to side and these little clothes pins. So I'll make it so there's a row at the top, one in the middle, and then one a third of the way up. I don't know if I have my dimensions right, but you get the idea. Right now it's all wonky. And this is gonna go in my booth so I can clip these retro looking postcards that I got to sell in my booth. So I got that for 50 cents. There's the green tag right there. And I may use it in the future for other items like if I find any linens that I want to display, 
I think people buy things a lot quicker if they're all where they can see them rather than just thrown in a bowl or something. So I hope to use that to put that to good use. The next four items are items that I picked up without getting any footage. And I know why I didn't have any footage of this next item. They come out with carts just like they do at Goodwill and people kind of swarm them like they do at the bins. And look what I found. Isn't this just darling? It says Grumpy Times, Disney's Grumpy Times, July 25 cents, number 32. I'll get to it later. Introducing the Grump. So this is a really super well done mug. It's made by the Disney store in Thailand and it was 50 cents. So I will be putting that in my booth to sell. Isn't it great? I don't remember why I didn't film this, but I used to have a frog collection when I was a little girl, and this just spoke to me. I thought it was so, so cute. I probably would guess that it's not worth a whole lot. It was made in China, but it was 50 cents, and I just thought he would be cute in my booth for the summer, and maybe I'll get a little sale out of it. But if not, I'll find a place to put it in my home because he's so, so cute. The last two items that I found, I remember we were right up by the checkout and I think Amy might have been looking something up. I think it's, that's when she found that really cool painting. And Beth and I were looking at the different artwork and I found these two. I'll show you one at a time. Look how cool this is. Now these each were $1 and I think they probably went together. And I would like to know if you've ever heard of this store because we had one and it was kind of like a Kmart or let's see, a, maybe back in the day uh, before we had Target, it was kind of like a Target, but the name is Zares, Z-A-Y-R-E. And somebody left the tag on, but I can't see the price. It looks like it begins with $1 possibly. So $1 or one dollar and some change, but I thought he was magnificent. And then the other one as well. Now this one, the tag was tore right off the back, but here's the other one. Aren't they so sweet? I just love the way they're framed and I love the artwork. And they both say Julie on them. Yes, one is a little bit larger than the other. There's where that one's signed. And then I'll point to it. I don't know if it'll even pick up. It's very, very tiny. But what do you think of those? I was really excited when I found them. Can't wait to put them in my booth. Or should I keep them? This is my dilemma. I love to thrift. I love the things I find so much. And then it's kind of hard to let them go. So let me know in the comments below. You've seen my house. Should I keep them or should I sell them in my booth? Thank you to Amy at Yoso Boho and her Aunt Beth. I have so much fun with you guys. You are both so knowledgeable, even in different areas. And so we make quite the package deal when we go thrifting together. We teach each other some things and I learn a lot from them. And I love it when we get together before we buy and we discuss things. So I didn't get my video up the same week as Amy because Melody was coming to town and I was just too busy. I didn't plan ahead like I should have. So if you haven't seen Amy's video, please go over there and watch it. That way you can compare and see what we each got at the same store. And I will be sure to link that video in my description box. So thanks a bunch, Amy and Beth. I love getting together with you guys. That's everything that I have for you today. If you would put in the description box, I would love to know what your favorite item or items are. That's always a lot of fun for me. I will be putting up another video and this next one, we're going to the Goodwill in Talmage. So that was with Amy and Beth as well. So make sure to stay tuned so you can watch that video when it goes up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.